Good morning from me, DML Enjoyer. I think it is time to finally unlock Chrono Isis. So we've only got two days left in this event and this collection in general. But today we have two new dragons to get hatching, but we also have a fan clip of one of the, let's say, special dragons that we're going to take a look at after this. But first of all, let us get hatching this new divine. So this egg here, which honestly I wouldn't have expected for it, this is actually the egg for Amano Uzume. You can tell by the little mirrors on the side because mirrors are sort of a thing for Amano Uzume in general. But this is the Divine Water and Earth Dragon. So essentially the reskinned Nezha Dragon. Now, that dragon in general, it's good elements wise, but unfortunately, in general, their attack stat isn't particularly high. So that's the reason I couldn't really recommend it over Freya for this event. But the benefit of getting Amano Uzume and Horus was this. Congratulations, you have successfully finished the Chrono Isis Rising and earned a reward. You got the Chrono Isis Dragon. And so I did this, I think I gemmed one dungeon run right at the end just because I was bored. And that was it. No other gemming for this event, just logging in for the other events and for the most part playing dungeon pretty infrequently. But it was a successful final Divine Fest. So, moving back on to Amano Uzume's description. The Amano Uzume dragon is a friendly and fun-loving divine who lives to dance and make merriment. This cheerful creature is sure to be the life of any party and will make certain its friends are smiling. Very wholesome description there. I am not a fan of baby Amano Uzume at all. Like, at all, I am sorry. Um, I mean, I, I do at least like the fact that Amano Uzume is seeing more screen time in different games because I feel like Amano Uzume isn't really showcased that often. I've said it before, but the persona Amano Uzume I was a big fan of and I did use it quite a lot in that game. But in terms of other games, I don't really hear about Amano Uzume close to at all. So at least it's good that we're seeing more of these, I guess, more niche gods in this game. Um, like Yum Cox, for example, like that's a weird one that I didn't really see in any other game. So they do have some really unique dragons in this game still, which, you know, I'm a fan of. And again, we've got the big mirror on the side, which looks out of place. But, you know, I understand that it is part of the lore of this creature. I say creature, it's not technically a creature, but this is a creature. Uh, also, the hair is made of leaves. Very weird. Very weird indeed. But that is our new divine. Again, it is exactly the same as Nezha, bar the actual design. So it's basically like getting a skin for a Nezha dragon. Uh, <laughs> it's a weird way to think about it, but it's true. So, like I said, we did manage to get our Chrono Isis dragon, who is a divine light and void dragon, and it does have exception stats. So, Chrono Isis has an incredibly strong bless and a very strong light attack. But, you know, we'll wait another nearly five days for that to get hatching. So we'll have a new dragon probably into the new treasure hunt event that we've got. So the other dragon that we've got to hatch here is not a divine, but it is a dragon that I missed many times before for one reason or another. But this is a very pretty egg. I love this egg so much. This is the Spellwork Dragon. And I'm not going to be using it for anything, but I think it's got a nice design and we might as well add it to our islands because why the heck not? So that is dragon number 753 for me. I believe unless this uh, counting system is broken, it might be 752. I don't know, it's changed a few times how it does it, but anyway, 750 plus. So prize for their intelligence, spell work dragons are said to remember every spell they've ever heard. For this reason, they're valuable to witches, but they certainly do growl a lot of odd things. They certainly do growl a lot of odd things. Okay, it does make more sense the second time I read it, but that's a very weird way of phrasing it. Anyway, that was me having a a reading moment, don't mind me. But this is the little baby here. The baby looks cute, I will say, but kind of, I don't know, there's something about the body that seems a little bit off. Like the neck looks a bit too wide at the top for me. I don't know, it looks, looks a bit wrong. Looks, it looks a bit wrong and the shading looks very wrong. Uh, anyway, I'm going to stop nitpicking 
It's a nice baby. I do quite like the adult design for spell work as well, to be honest. I like the horns. I think it's the horns. And plus the colour scheme on this dragon is really nice as well. But spell work isn't really a dragon I'd recommend you use on a team, unless you just need the unique elements of plant and void and say you're a newer player that's, you know, again, just looking for unique elements on like a fourth or fifth dragon you could use it. But it's mainly just there to be nice to look at. But another new dragon, and if we ever need to use it, we can use it. I do kind of like the racing stripe that's got going on. Very cool spell work, but those horns, man. Big fan. Big fan of those horns. So those are the new dragons. Of course, we've also got our Dragon's Delight event going on at the moment. We've also got Wellmark going on at the moment. But before we delve into anything else, like I said, we do have a fan clip that was sent in by JV. 07 and this is bringing me back because we used to do a lot of fan clip viewing and generally it was for event dragons if I didn't get them and we could at least see them getting hatched but in this clip here we are actually going to see them getting the Ticketmaster boss and the reason that this is a good fan clip to get is because I am never ever going to get this dragon because I don't spend any more and to be honest unless you spend or watch like a hundred percent of the ads in DML you're never going to get one of these 5,000 gem bosses. But the reason so many people like Ticketmaster is because you can get enchantment tickets. So it's plus four tickets generated every 24 hours. And although that doesn't really sound like 5,000 gems worth in general, if you actually have this over a very long period of time, you're going to be getting a lot more enchantment chests than everyone else. Because, I mean, everyone needs more enchantment materials these days. So there's 5,000 gems worth. Do you want to buy the dragon ticket, Master? Yes. And of course, with it being a boss dragon, there is no cooldown timer. You don't have to wait. But you do need a free boss habitat slot. So you get to hatch it as if it's a regular dragon. But you'll never actually get to fight with it. Which is a shame. Although, I guess it's less pay to win that way. So I can't complain. But it immediately gets thrown into its adult form. I don't know why they have elements when, again, they're not used in battle, but, you know, it's Lilith in boss form. And then they get thrown in the boss habitat. And if you got all four of these special ticket dragons, or, well, they're not all ticket dragons, they generate other things, you can get Overlord. But Overlord is, like, the most expensive dragon in this game by far. But, yeah, four enchantment tickets every 24 hours. Trust me. If I could get free enchantment tickets all the time, I would 100% do it. But having to save up 5,000 gems free to play, it's it's uh, very unlikely that it's going to happen. And there is this description here talking about who cares all that about all of that as well. There's also you should also take advantage of gem spending events when you do buy things like boss dragons. So then you get some gems back. But there you go. You can collect the tickets, click them, and then you get plus four. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. It's good to see some people getting some, you know, benefit. And at least I see an eternal fruit tree, which is disgusting. But at least it's only at level one, right? At least it's only a level one eternal fruit tree. If it was higher than that, I may have complained. But, you know, that's the fan clip. So thank you to JV for sending this in. You know, anyone that does have any of these generating dragons, I'm not sure how much you've been paid out over time, but I guess you've got to think of them kind of like solar panels. It's like uh, you're not going to get immediately back all of the money that you spend, right? So it's it's a long-term investment, like 5,000 gems worth. Just think about how many, um, I guess, how many enchantment chests you could have opened up worth, right? You could have opened up a lot of chests worth for that amount of Gemma. So you got to think, is it actually worth it to save up for that long? Well, technically it is, because at least you're going to have a permanent resource generating thing then. But it's just such a big initial investment. So that's something to keep in mind. And now that I've compared the boss Lilith to a solar panel, I'm never going to be able to unthink that now. Why have I done this to myself? That's all I'm going to think. Every time I see that boss dragon now, I'm just going to think solar panels. Uh, why? Why would I do this to my poor brain? But anyway, we also have the Dragon's Delight event going on, like I said. And the thing is with this Dragon's Delight event, the event itself, 
even though there is there are two dragons I don't have in it, I don't care too much for Dragon's Delight events, but one thing to note about Dragon's Delight events, if you didn't know, is you can see new dragons in the event that you've never seen before. So that's one thing that gets lots of people excited in like the first couple of days of Dragon's Delight events, because while you're playing, you'll like spend on a particular dragon. Like if we spend on the shooting star dragon, another one will load in and this time it is just alien, but we might get a new dragon visible to us. So people have been collecting screenshots of some of the new dragons and I was going to put those together, but I haven't found all of them yet. But there are some cool looking ones, which means that, you know, we would expect them to be getting released in future events, maybe after the influencer pet events come out possibly. But there are some cool dragons in there. So while you're playing, see if you can see any of the new ones. I guess if you don't know every dragon in the game visually yet, then it's kind of difficult to tell who the new ones are. But, you know, for any longer term players and those that have been playing since day one like me, you know, sometimes it's just easy to tell because you look over and you're like, what the heck is that? And it's like, I've never seen that before. That is new. I think there was only once where I made that mistake thinking it was new and it turns out it wasn't. And that's just because I forgot that it existed completely. It happens. It, it does happen. I think it only happened once, but, you know, I'm not going to pretend like I just know every single dragon 100% of the time, all the time. It's like Pokemon. I would recognize all the Pokemon, like, the first time they pop up in my face. But especially names. I don't remember all their names off the top of my head because there's just so many now that it's like it would take me a hot minute. You know what I mean? Even if I've been playing it for 20, well, yeah, 24 years, I still do not always recognize all their names, which, I don't know, some people are like, well, that's normal, there's hundreds of them. That's disgusting behavior. I should know all of them off the top of my head. Just like DML Dragons. I mean, if you think about it, how many of these of, like, virtual creatures do you actually know? And when you think about it, that's super weird to think that you just know the names of all of these random dragons and they just stick in your mind. You, you just know them. You just know, well, oh my god, are we gonna die? I kind of want to see him kill himself. No, I wanted to see him kill himself. That's okay. We could have survived that, but I wanted to see him self-mutilate, but he did not. He even blessed himself. That's what I get for trying to, you know, be, hee <laughs> I want to watch you die. Sometimes the AI doesn't fall for it, but it doesn't matter to me too much, you know. I've already got VIP off at the moment because I don't have the VIP tickets available to keep putting VIP on. So I'm already going to be struggling in the arena department. So losing one extra fight just because I wanted to see himself mutilate is not a lot to give. Uh, but we are coming very close to being able to enchant in Roger, despite me saying that. Like, we are three away. And then, we it's mainly the, the trinkets. We need more trinkets at the moment. And then Enroja will be upgraded again. We might need to upgrade our other dragons one extra level to balance it out at that point. I don't know. We'll see what it looks like. Because I don't want Enroja to be my main. I still want Enroja to be, like, second or third if I can... No! Why is auto on? Oh, my God. I hate this game sometimes. You know, this is still a bug where every single time I talk about it, people are like, oh my god, that means that your auto must have been on from regular campaign. No, I literally recorded it and made sure the other day. It's like you go into a fight, you've turned off auto battle, and then it turns itself back on again. It does happen. If you think that you were going crazy, no, it happens. I complain about it every time it happens. And it is annoying every single time. Why is that still a thing? Game... No, I said I was going to stop complaining earlier. I mean, this game is very bug-free. Uh, we definitely didn't have a bug a couple of days ago where everyone on APA had some sort of issue and then lots of people got kicked out of their clans and then even clan leaders got kicked out of their own clans. That's... <laughs> Uh, there was someone that legitimately said that DML or DC, DML is the more polished game. And then not 24 hours later, 
a good chunk of APA players got completely destroyed and removed from their clans because of that game breaking bug. <laughs> oh, you can't make it up. You can't make it up. Uh, too, too funny. <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah, DML is a very, very polished game. Very polished. Uh, you know, there's a lot of words I could use to describe DML. Polished is not one of them. It's definitely not one of them. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, you know, at least we got the events done. Oh my god, just reminding me of the castle event bug as well. Uh, uh, yes, very polished. God, stop it, me. Stop. Stop. Yes, it was funny. Stop. Getting ahead of yourself. Alright, how many more battles do we need to do? Uh, okay, not many. And then we should be done skis with all of the fight battles points that we can get. But, you know, for Dragon's Delight, even though you can approach it in a couple of different ways, because of the Fury bar now, I would rather wait, hoard up my currency and spend it all at once. Whereas with the old Dragon's Delight events, you basically had to be playing it, like, every reset and spending all of your currency every reset because otherwise you just couldn't build up in the proper way and you need to reset the dragons. But these days, you know, even though you've got to refresh the dragons, sometimes it's just better for your own sanity and for the bonus bar just to keep playing all at once. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save up all the currency. I did miss one reset and a couple of the breeding quests, because again, I've only got one breeding den and I don't care enough. But we'll see. Will we get Purple Thorn? Good question. That's all I'm going for. Mountain Lord! He was in the game files like years ago, or like at least a year ago, and he was never released. I don't care about him. We'll see what sort of leaderboard we get, but you know, as long as we get the gems, I guess it's not too bad. For right now, we'll be saving up for the Ancient event. We'll see what we have in the ancient event, anything of value. If we do, then we can spend all of our gems. But right now, it is hoarding season, waiting for treasure hunt day, and then we can move on from there. So anyway, we are going to be waiting for Chrono Isis 2, so I do wish you the best if you are going for Hades in the dungeon. I wish you luck with that too, but for now, adios.